Hi everyone, it's Brenda again. I thought I was going to do at least one more today. So I'm using this kind of bluish gray uh, base coat and that's because it's all the paint that was that I poured off the last one. I've started taking it, just throwing it into a squirt bottle. It makes this awful color, but it's a way of not wasting paint. And then I just layered this cup. I just decided to play with colors that I already had made. You can kind of see that black. That black must have had some um, silicone in it. I don't know what's in all of them. I know they're all mixed up with the Floetrol and everything, but we're going to play around and just see what we've got. Let's see if I pour it this way, if you guys can see the pour better than you could on the last one. So again, we're going to do just a straight pour. That's the only black I have in it. And I just took just whatever colors I felt like putting in, in whatever order, because I wanted to see what we could do. There's my cardinal red that I like so much. Actually, maybe kind of turning out kind of cool. Look at that, it looks like little flames. We have a little bit of that gray that I put in there. There's some bright red in there, and there's some yellow. So when all these colors start mixing together, there's no telling what I'm going to get. And I was just in that kind of a mood today. So that's what we get. That's why I call this my self-care and my therapy, is because it really doesn't matter. And that's why I like abstract art, because it really doesn't matter. It's whatever you like whatever mood you're in. Nobody can tell you you have to have it look a certain way. Okay, so there's my cup. Kind of neat looking in there. And there's my piece. So let's torch it, get some of those air bubbles out. There are quite a lot of air bubbles in there today. Let's see if we can move this a little, if I can move this a little slower and maybe not lose so much. So this time I did just six ounces of paint. It called for just about five and a half ounces, so I added an extra half an ounce in there. And I'm going to try to move it slow. I don't know how that will work. I always tend to get a little quicker than I mean to get. Some of those colors are really already starting to look good. And I think they're going to be at the point that they're going to fall off. That's going to bug me if I lose some of those pieces. I think we'll put a little more of that gray down so that the paint doesn't slide onto itself, doesn't eat itself. So let me grab my container here and put a little more paint on. If you don't have enough for the paint to roll on, it rolls, to flow on, it rolls over itself and it kind of eats itself. And um, then you lose the pretty things you wanted, like I'm going to lose this, I'm afraid. So I did decide that before I go and get 
work on my Etsy page, I would do another pour because I didn't want to then have to come out here and get all messy again. Once I cleaned up, I wanted to be done. And then I've got to go do a discussion post after this, so or after that. So I kind of did it backwards today. Usually I make myself go do my schoolwork first, then I let myself come paint, but it's so hot I wanted to get this done while it was still cool, while you could still stand to be in the garage. Hey, I think I'm going to kind of like that look right there. What do you guys think? Kind of looks like flames. Do wish I could hear. Maybe one day I'll get it set up so that I can see what you guys think while I'm doing this. But it is hard to look and and uh, pour at the same time. Trying to get some of those small things off. I'd like to get it stretched out, kind of like it is there. Pretty psychedelic looking. There we go, we're starting to get more of a stretch. Oh, and we've got some of that black showing up now. Hope I'm not getting my head in there or in your way. What do you think? Should I keep it like that? I think we'll keep it like that. Let's torch it and stop fiddling. That's got to be my mantra from now on. Stop fiddling, Brenda, because things mess up when you fiddle. See if we can bring out any more cells. Bring some up there, some there. I'm trying to bring out the cells without burning the paint. Well, that's kind of looking neat. Look at that gold coming out there. Let's see if we get anything else. Can we bring out some cells there? Maybe some there, and that's some that yellow. See what we can bring out wave color here. And right there in the center. Okay guys, I see some cells starting to develop. So we'll just have to see how they go as time goes. It'll take about 30 minutes or so. In this heat, maybe less. It may start to set up before a lot of the cells develop. But it's not too hot yet today. And I'm in the shade. So let me take off these gloves and I will show you what this looks like a little bit closer. I'm gonna take off the apron too because it's got a little wet paint on it. Maybe a lot of wet paint. A lot of wet paint and grab the phone down hi mom hi Sean okay so let's see what we've got here today look at those black look at that black in there and the blues pop out oh, there's a green one popping out in amongst that red. So yeah, we're gonna have quite a few cells popping out. I like that red one right there. And with all the green and the blue. And I really like that center. I like the way that gold is looking there. How about that green where? green center right there. I really like that. So I'm really happy with this one. So we will stop fiddling and we'll leave it alone. And let me walk you over to the other one because I did fiddle with the other one. I kind of messed it up while I was transporting it. So let me walk you over and show you what the last one ended up looking like. So I did lose that all those fingers I had. I was uh, walked over, messed it up, and then was afraid I had too much paint on it, it was gonna crack. Um, 
So we've got a little, a few changes to it. It's still got those colors that I liked right down there. I'm still happy with it. I think it looks pretty cool. All right, so those are my paintings for today. Have a good day. Um, I'm gonna go get my Etsy page uh, filled and do my studying. Talk to you later, bye.